here at San Diego Comic Fest, and today I'm joined with... Lee Cozy. Hi, Lee. So can you just tell us a little bit about your background in this industry? Um, I draw, or I mostly work in the film and television industry. Uh, I do a lot of entertainment art for movies, television shows. Um, I'll actually do pre-production art for producers when they're trying to pitch artwork to studios or try to get funding. And then I'll, I do a lot of comic books and a lot of self-published, you know, my own creative content. Can you tell us why creativity is important to you? Um, I think it's important because it keeps your imagination active. Uh, I think that, you know, it's, I, I love reading books and you start visualizing what's being described. If it's a really good book, Tolkien, things like that. And then obviously Ray Bradbury, one of the uh, uh, tributes for this year's show. But I just, I love that idea of, you know, it's just like your, your brain comes up with this picture and then I get to go and do a little on paper and show people what I was thinking. Um, do you have any favorite pieces of work that you've done or any recent art that you want to show off? Uh, my favorite piece is the one I'm currently working on. Okay. So it's always one of those things where I already know how I did the last piece. Yeah. I want to know how I'm going to do the next one. And so that's the one I always, like, I, I love that because it's trying to figure out uh, new problems, new, you know, issues and stuff that may exist and trying to come up with new solutions. And then that's how your art progresses is it changes a little bit. Each piece gets better. Um, so is there anything you're looking forward to at this event today? Um, at this event, always. Uh, th this is like one of the coolest small conventions there is, uh, mostly because you have legendary creators here. Um, you know, one of my favorites who's always here is William Stout. Uh, he's very well known in the movie industry. He actually created the character designs for Slimer from Ghostbusters. He also created Pale Man. And I think he created Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth and just a slew of other stuff. But uh, he's uh, just one of my favorite artists since I was a kid. And I have a huge collection of all his books and things. And then always this, the guests of honor that they have here this year, they have Bils Bilsenkevich, uh, who of course did the Electra comic book and New Mutants for uh, Marvel back in the day. Uh, and his, he's one of those people who most people are kind of uh, very much the Jack Kirby kind of style of action comics. And then he brought this fine art aesthetic to doing the comic. So it still has that sense of adventure that Jack Kirby brought to it. But now it's like this painted explosion and he would do panel sequences that look like, you know, how do you read that? Because it looks like shattered glass and it's like, you know, can you read it like a clock, you know, from the 12 o'clock all around? Mm -hmm. And just some really innovative design work in his, in, his, uh, in his storytelling. And so he's here and so I'm really excited. I get to meet him later today and tomorrow I have a panel with him. So I'm kind of thrilled. Exciting. Well, thank you for talking with us. Mm -hmm. Have a good one today. Mm -hmm.